What's up guys, Travis from americantrucks.com. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to very easily and affordably improve the throttle response and the felt performance fitting your 2012 to 2018 Ram 1500, regardless of what motor you're rocking under the hood. This is called the SEC 10 throttle response controller. And what this does is it plugs in line with your accelerator pedal and your factory wiring harness. It only takes a couple minutes to plug in, but what it does is it actually improves the functionality of your truck's drive-by wire system. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, we got a quick little history lesson here. It used to be in the days of old that when you pressed your pedal, a mechanical system using a series of cables would actually open up the throttle body and allow air to fuel to enter the motor. That's all analog, doesn't use a computer. That's not the case anymore. When you actually press the pedal in your Ram 1500 nowadays, you're technically pressing a button. And basically, depending on how much you press the pedal, is gonna determine how much voltage is applied through the wiring harness to go through to the computer. So the computer is measuring your pedal position based on the voltage that's being applied. Basically what this does is it amplifies that voltage and this is actually specifically designed for the RAM. So it's kind of a curve, if you will. So if you press the pedal and you get X amount of voltage, this is gonna amplify that all the way from idle up to red line. You can actually control how much you're amplifying that voltage using the provided little button here that you can mount anywhere on the dash. This actually has six different modes going from pretty much mild all the way to wild. Then you also have a really cool valet mode which actually inhibits your overall pedal feel and throttle response and acceleration. You even have a nice little economy mode. That's pretty cool because this is currently the most affordable throttle enhancement device that you can throw on your truck. Comes in at around $200. There are other options out there from K&N and JMS, but they do cost a little bit more. They provide a little more control with a little adjustment knob. You can actually control the uh, amount of throttle response from zero to 100%, but honestly guys, the six different modes on here are gonna be more than adequate, and I promise once you do plug this in, you will feel a huge improvement even on the lowest setting. And you can actually turn this off while you're driving. The other nice thing about this is it doesn't interfere with anything in the computer or the ECU. It's not actually tuning anything, it's not modifying anything permanently, so all the software on your truck stays the same. Any factory fail safes that are built into the throttle system remain untouched, and that also means you can pretty much use this with any other mod, including a tuner, if you wanna go real crazy. If you ever wanna get rid of this thing, all you gotta do is unplug it and you're good to go. You don't have to modify anything. You don't have to reset the battery. It only takes a couple minutes to get bolted in. Honestly, it's probably gonna take you longer to get it out of the box than it takes to actually plug it in. Probably 15 minutes, so for that reason, this gets an incredibly simple one out of three wrenches on the old difficulty meter. So go ahead and check it out more on the site, read the customer reviews. You'll be pleasantly surprised to hear how much of an improvement this makes. And if you decide to pull the trigger on this guy, come back in a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to get it wired in, and I'm actually gonna show you how to use this little device uh, step by step. All right, once you have your throttle enhancer out of the box, you wanna crawl underneath the dash here and locate your accelerator pedal. We're gonna be connecting our device in through the wiring harness right here. We're gonna plug it in line. So we're gonna disconnect this from, the, from our pedal here. All you have to do is press on this little black tab. That is a male connection. So you're gonna grab the female connection on the throttle enhancement device. Go ahead and line those up, plug them in. Okay, once you have that female connection plugged in, you're gonna connect the male end back into the accelerator pedal. Make sure that little red tab is depressed. All right, so once you have it plugged in, you just gotta have to find a location to actually secure it. They do provide some zip ties in the kit, and there's these little plastic tabs here. So we're just gonna find a spot here where we can secure it where it's out of the way, where none of our excess cabling is gonna get in the way of any of our pedals. All right, once you have everything secured, you can pull the little button with the harness up through the uh, plastic cover here for the uh, steering column, and you can pretty much just pull the 3M backing off of here Make sure you got a nice clean surface and you can just press down firmly in order to permanently apply it. And that's gonna live wherever you want it to. And that's how you're actually gonna control the enhancement throttle device. All right, so once you have the button mounted, go ahead and put the key in the ignition, turn it to the on position, and then you wanna do a functions check before you start driving around. By default, the button's not gonna be illuminated. Once you press that, it's gonna turn green. That's gonna indicate sport mode. That's your default setting. That's the one you should start off with until you get acclimated to it. Then you can advance to the more sensitive settings. The next one's gonna be performance mode, which just kinda of looks orange or red. It's supposed to be yellow. That's intermediate. Then track mode is gonna be in red. That one's gonna be your most sensitive level. Uh, again, recommend starting off in some of the less sensitive ones before you go to track mode. If you ever have anybody else driving your vehicle and you don't want them to be gunning it or anything like that, press it again, that's gonna put you in valet mode. That's actually gonna limit your throttle response and your overall acceleration. And then if you wanna have some economy, Go ahead and put it in turquoise. That's a balance of power 
and economy. And again, you can turn it off while you're driving and it'll be deactivated. You can do all of these things while you're driving around or while you're standing still. All right, so once you got the button uh, hooked up, you've verified that you're getting all your different modes, go ahead and turn the ignition over, take it out for a test drive, play with the different settings, get comfortable with it, you will feel a nice improvement. That should wrap up this little review and install of the SEC 10 throttle response controller fitting your 2012 to 2018 Ram 1500. Thanks for watching. Keep it right here at americantrucks.com.